we have learned how to create a single field indexes and compound indexes and how to use them and how we can measure their efficiency these are some important aspects you need to understand when working with indexes in mongodb we have also learned about different types of indexes like unique index ttl index partial index etc and of course compound index now there are two more types of indexes which we can create in mongodb multi key index and text index now remember that text index is also a kind of multi key index so in this lecture let's learn what is a multi key index and then in the next lecture we will learn about text index a multi key index in mongodb is a special type of index that can be created on fields that contains array it allows mongodb to efficiently query and sort data within those arrays let's try to understand it with an example and to understand multi key index we are going to create the employees collection so first of all let's see what are the collections we have in this e shopping database so you see we have logs collection orders collection products test users collection let's go ahead and let's create an employees collection here so to create an employees collection what i am going to do is again i am going to use the documents from employees.json file i am going to copy this array and here let me go ahead and let me write the insert statement so here let's say db.employees.insert many and to this let's pass the array which we have just copied let's copy this command let's paste it here and let's press enter so five documents have been inserted in the employees collection now let me clear this shell first and now let's go ahead and let's query the first document from the employees collection if i go ahead and if i press enter it should return as the first document from the employees collection in this document you will see we have a name for the employee age for the employee we have the skills array which stores an array of embedded documents embedded skill documents and we have this hobbies array which stores an array of string values now what we want is we want to create an index on this hobbies array so let's go ahead and let's create that index for that on the employees collection we are going to call this create index method and what do we want to do here we want to create an index on the hobbies array and we want to create it in ascending order okay let me go ahead and let me run this command so you will see that an index called hobbies one has been created on the employees collection now what i want is let's go ahead and let's query all the employees where let's say hobbies is sports if i go ahead and if i press enter it has returned us these three documents where the hobbies is sports as you can see now let's go ahead and let's see the execution stat for this query for that we can again use the explain method there we can pass execution stats let's run this command and here is the execution stat and here you will see that in order to fetch all the documents from the employees collection for that particular query it has used index scan and it has used this hobbies one index and you will also see that here this is multi key is set to true now why mongodb treats this index as a multi key index that's because this index is an index on array of values technically multi key indexes works like normal indexes but they are stored differently what mongodb does is it pulls out all the values in your index key and stores them as separate elements in an index so for example in our employees array if i scroll up so here you see for this sports we have three employees now for these three employees sports is not the only hobby we also have other hobbies like music movies cooking etc so mongodb pulls out each of these keys from the array and it creates an index for that document let me show it to you diagrammatically 
So for example, let's say we have four user documents and each user has this hobbies array. Now for the first user, we have three hobbies, sports, cooking and music. So for this one document, you see we have three elements in the index. First element is for hobbies as sport. Second element is for hobbies as cooking and third element is for hobbies as music. And all these three elements points to the same document. So for one document, we have multiple keys in the index. And that is why when we create an index on an array, it is called as multi key index. And this also means that multi key indexes for a lot of documents are bigger than single field indexes. So as you can see, only for four documents here, we have around nine pointers and that too because some of the documents have only one hobbies or two hobbies. So this is important to understand that multi key indexes are possible, but they are typically bigger, but it does not mean that you should not use them. And we can also create multi key indexes on an array of embedded documents. So for example, let me go and let me clear the shell first. And let's query the first document from the collection. So here you can see for each employee, we also have this skills array. And in this skills array, we have embedded documents. So if we want, we can also create an index on this skills array. So let me actually go ahead and let me do that. So what do we want to do? We want to create an index on this skills array. Okay. Now, when I create an index on the skills array like this, in that case, each embedded document will be treated as a key. Okay. So for example, let me go and let me create this index. Okay. So skills one has been created. This is the index name. And now let me go ahead and let me find all the documents where let's say skills dot name is designer. Okay, now if I go ahead and if I run this command with this explain method, because we want to get the execution stat, if I run this command, you will see that here it has used call scan. It has not used the index. Now, why is that? That's because, as I mentioned, here we are trying to find the document based on skills.name. Now, we have not created an index on the name field of the skills embedded document we have created an index on the skills array so if we try to find a document which exactly matches the element in the skills array for example let me copy this and here let me clear the shell and let's again try to run that command but this time i want to find all the documents where the skills is the embedded document which I just copied. So where the name is tester and level is six. In this case, if I go ahead and if I run this command, in this case, you will notice that it has used that skills index. Okay. So here it will look for the exact value in order to use the index. Earlier, we tried to query the document based on one of the fields of the embedded document of the skills array. That's why it did not use that index. So here, what we can do is instead of creating the index on the skills array itself. So let me go ahead and let me drop that index first. So I'll say DB dot employees dot drop index and which index I want to drop. I have created an index on the skills array. And I have used this value one there. So let me press enter and the index should be dropped. Let's check that by calling this get indexes method. So you'll see that now we have index on the underscore ID field and the hobbies field. So now what we can do is we can of course create a new index on the skills array. But here instead of creating the index on the skills array itself, we can create it on one of the fields of the embedded document. For example, skills dot name. And then we can specify that it should be sorted in ascending order. So in this case also, a multi key index will be created. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's run this command. Let's create that index. So now the index has been created on name field of the embedded documents of this skills array. 
and now let's go ahead and let's rerun that command where we were trying to find the document based on skills name where the name of the skill is designer and again we are using this explain method with this argument execution stats so earlier we saw that when we run this command when we created an index on only skills array and when we run this command it used collection scan but now if i go ahead and if i run this command you will see that now it is using this index skills name one and here it is doing index scan so we can also create an index on a field of an embedded document present in an array with that multi-key feature so here also you will notice that is multi-key is true so in this case also when we have created an index on one of the fields of the embedded document of the skills array in that case also it has created a multi-key index now you also need to be aware that when you create a multi-key index it can affect the performance of the insert operations because when you insert a new document with some skills in the skills array the multi-key index has to be updated so it can affect the performance of your insert queries and when you are creating a multi-key index there is one restriction on that and the restriction is you cannot add a compound index with multiple multi-key indexes so for example if i try to create an index on the employees collection here i want to create a multi-key index on let's say skills field and hobbies field and both of these are array fields so for both of them a multi-key index will be created so since here i'm trying to create a compound index using array fields we know that for the array field a multi-key index gets created but since we are specifying both the fields as array fields if i go ahead and if i try to create this index we get this error it says cannot index parallel arrays so this is one restriction you cannot create compound indexes with array fields but you can have one array field and other single value fields then you can create a compound index but if you are creating a compound index where you have two or more array fields in that case you cannot create a compound index and the reason here is simple in this case mongodb will have to store cartesian product of both hobbies and skills that means it will have to pull out all the skills and for each skill it will have to pull out all the hobbies and create a combination of skill and hobbies and store it in the index so if you have two skills and five hobbies it will create 10 elements in the index for a single document which can significantly grow the index and this will lead to performance issues so that's why this feature is not supported where you can create a compound index with two array fields so compound index is possible with one multi-key field and one or more single value fields but compound index is not possible with two or more multi-key fields i hope this point is clear so in this lecture we learned what is multi-key index multi-key index works just like any other normal key index but multi-key index will always be larger in size than the normal key indexes so this is very important to understand this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day